there she is, guys. Welcome back to Ubonte Garage. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Today we got another CRZ video. This is my CRZ. It's also my wife's daily, but I like to drive it as much as possible because this thing is so good looking. Today we're gonna be doing five things that I hate about the Honda CRZ. But before I do that, when I put everything back on, because as you can see, it is back in sexy mode. If you guys watched my last video, I put everything back on this car, everything, except for the spoiler. That was the only thing that was still on the car. If you haven't seen it yet, you should go ahead and check that out. It was my last video. But yeah, I put everything back on and now I'm going to put on the canards because I forgot to put it on the car because it's just one of those little pieces that's like a little extra piece that just sets everything off. So let me go ahead and knock that out really quick. All right, so if you're wondering what kind of canard this is, this is actually a Jay's Racing canard. Kind of just retrofitted it onto this bumper. And as you can see, it sits there real nice. Boom. Probably put the gasket back in there, but for what it is. And that's that. We got the Jay's canards back on. All I gotta do is wrap that splitter and every single other piece of arrow in carbon fiber because these are real carbon fiber. Now I got a full Jay's front end, Jay's lip, grill, and canards. But enough lagging, so sorry. Let's go get to this five things I hate about the CRZ. So number one, we're gonna have to go into the car for this one. So, this is the 2011. The way you can tell the difference is because this actually has gray interior. Now, if you're not about gray interior, like me, this is one of the things I hate about this car because the newer ones, I believe they don't have a gray headliner either. And everything else is black, which looks so much better because you don't have this pillar, that pillar, all of them, they're all black. All black, looks so good. Picture right here, so good. So that is number one that I hate about the CRZ. Number two. So another thing when it comes to the interior of this car, it's the blind spots. So as you can see, the CRZ, it's a two seater, compact, sport hybrid. And if you guys look behind me, the back windows are so small. At least you got the top one, and then you got the small bottom one. But, I mean, you can still see behind you, but boy, does it kind of suck. And then, you got this blind spot where you can't even see through this back window. And then from here, you can only see that much of that window unless you move this chair forward. But even then, it's only that small, so all you're really depending on is your side mirrors. The CRZs suck. Not even kidding how sucky they are. But there is an easy fix to that. So as you can see, mine are tinted blue, but they have those that you can purchase. They're around hundred bucks, but it changes the whole entire feel of driving a CRZ. If you don't have one, you're wasting your time, just get them because they do make that big of a difference. Also, when it comes to the interior, one more thing, this isn't in my list. It gets super hot in here. Not because I don't have the AC on, but it gets really hot because as you can see this back window, it's so long across the top. And in the front, the windshield's very sleek and long. So it's just a whole bunch of sun beaming into your car. So it gets really hot. There's an easy fix to that too. I recommend you get the ceramic tint only on this top glass because it changes everything. It keeps out a lot more heat. And I mean, you could do it in your front window if that's legal in your state. So number three, this car is ridiculously, I'm talking, I haven't even gone past 100 miles an hour in this thing actually. Bruh. You need to understand that these are hybrids. 
I think this comes with 115 horsepower stock. They are really slow. I mean, if you want to take this to the canyon, it's awesome. Handles nicely, and it's a good fun car, but if you're trying to race with it, you bought the wrong car. Sorry. Let's go take this for a spin. I'll do a pull for you guys, and I'll show you guys how fast this is a CRZ goes from zero to 60. I'm gonna go mount you guys up real quick. Let's see what we got. F. All right, so as you can see, car is super slow, but there is a HPD supercharger option, which is 6,000 from factory, and you have the Jackson Racing supercharger option as well. I've actually ridden in one of those, and I've actually driven one, and they are pretty fun. They are nice, and the pickup's way better than stock, but you're still just about as fast as a stock RSX Type S. So. Yeah, I don't know if that's what you want. So, you could also do a K-Swap, but those are still stupid expensive, and you still need to find the good motor, and if you don't go with a K20Z3, I believe, it's significantly harder, because all the wiring's all different and whatnot, and you're looking at about 10 grand, if you don't have any mistakes. Let's go hop out the car. All right, number four would be suspension design. Front and rear are absolute garbage on this car. They have these OEM top hats that they use for all the coilovers. I'm currently on God speeds and there's no camber adjustment plate, so it just kind of blows. The only option you have to camber is using camber bolts. So you can either use one for negative one and a half degrees of adjustment or two, which gives you a total of negative three, but that's only if you're at stock heights. That's definitely the problem with the front suspension. On the rear, if you guys are familiar with the Prius, the rear axle is solid on them. And so, unfortunately, is this Honda CRZ. But yeah, it is a solid axle that is completely unadjustable to anything. It's made to stay stock height and to only be stock height. So that means when you lower the car with coilovers, you're kind of stuck with the toe-in that it gives you naturally, which is not the worst thing that you could possibly get because toe-in actually helps when you turn, but it still prematurely wears out your tires. So just be ready for that if you decide to lower this car. And that is basically it for number four. Number five. Since I'm a car guy, of course, I care a lot about aesthetic. So, when it comes to the design of this car, it's just all around weird. I mean, this car looks like it was designed for a K motor to be fast, to be a race car, but they ended up canceling everything they had planned and made it a sport hybrid with a 1.5. But the weirdest thing about this car is that the front and rear wheelbase is staggered. The front isn't as wide as the rear, making it a staggered style car, which makes no sense on front wheel drive because you want it to be reverse stagger if you want it for function. It just doesn't make any sense, which isn't a big downfall. All right, guys and gals, that closes out the video for today. That is the five things I hate about the Honda CRZ. I completely love this car, although those are the five things I find weird, don't like about this chassis. Not that those things aren't fixable, but things like the suspension, they just haven't made them yet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for checking it out, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.